pera, pera Kailangan ko ng pera Magtitipid ng grabe para lumago ang pera Hi! Morning! It's Monday morning again And as usual, I'm in my favorite breakfast coffee hangout And soon, I'll be joined by Sama natin si Armand and our uh, president of Own Bank uh, Ami for us. So we're here always on Monday talking about things to do, what happened, what's gonna happen. But today I want to take this opportunity to end up Padami email, always going back to the same honey problems. And the top five questions always revolve around where, how do I earn? And if I earn, Pano among budget? And what about emergencies? How do I prepare for emergencies? And how do I prepare for buying a house? planning for education of my children, etc. At saka kung meron ako na itabi, where do I put my investments? So isa-isahin natin to, very briefly. If you are just newly married, madali, you're starting with a black, uh, a black uh, board. But most of the questions also come from people who have never prepared and now realize, oh, I need a second source of income. But to be telling you all along, you cannot depend on one source of income. You have to have more than one source of income. Now, remember, there are, you, you work, if you're working, you'll be required to work 40 hours a week. You have 60 hours more that is free for you to learn new things or do sideline work. There possibility that online business is now available. Look into it. And once you have you're earning kadalasa. First question is, walang natitira. Maybe you're overspending, so you need to learn how to budget. You budgeting, you can only do that by tracking your expenses. I remember in a survey before, some of my tatanong, when they track their expenses, 30%, they realize they should not have spent, or they need not have spent, meaning, napagkaso sa hindi pa nangailangan. Kadalasan mo ulit, may siya pupunta sa mga buto, napapakain din ang mga dapat na. Those are just a few examples. And then yung mga natamaan na kung hindi ka nga indulto na accident na nagkasakit, then they realize wala silang insurance kahit na term insurance, wala silang health coverage, coverage wala silang mga, hindi na pinag-isipan. Those are things that we should look at right now. Yun naman ang paplano magbahay. That's a major decision. Remember, long-term asset chat. Ang kaputihan, we now have pag to help us, even with a small amount of money, be able to buy a house as uh, much as 3, 6 million. Pwede na ngayon, and 30 years to pay. Pwede na ngayon. And once you have set aside some money, we always keep saying 80, 20, mga kalimutan, 20% of what you earn in Tabinyo. Buy your future with it. Save with it. The best, the best uh, technique immediately is collective savings. You know, go to mutual funds or get into a income earning real estate, bakas, bakas, with friends or with, by yourself. Okay. Many things, many, many other things. We cannot discuss all of that, but I want you to send me the questions and your specific uh, concerns. Even just changing job, so you can meet a much more likely. Baka changing job is the solution. Or baka naman short term lang yan. Ang ganda yung sub-topic na yan, pwede natin pag-usapan yan. See you again next week when we do our next vlog and to talk about how we can achieve happiness by doing things right without money. For now, this is Francisco Polak saying, see you soon. Stay and subscribe on this channel. Push, press the button right below. Bye. Pera, pera, kailangan ko ng pera. Magtitipid ng grabe para lumago ang pera. Walang mangyayari kung manonood ka lang. Tawag ka, o text mo kami, o i-click mo ito.